Hey, have you ever wondered why in the Book of Mormon there's that point where Brother Jared is about to put the barges in the water to float across to America from the old world and they don't have any air inside the barges and God tells him to put a hole in the top and put a hole in the bottom. Does that make any sense? Hi, I'm Steve's brother. You might call me the brother of Steve. I'm going to talk a little bit about Jared's boat. Okay, so here we see that uh, uh, the brother of Jared goes to work and he builds these barges and according to the instructions of the Lord, they were small and they were light on the water. Let's see, they were tight. They would even hold water like into a dish. The bottom was tight like a dish. The sides were tight like a dish. The ends were peaked. The top was tight like a dish. The length was the length of a tree. And the door, when it was shut, was tight, like unto a dish. Oh, we better make us a door. Okay, so the boat didn't look like this, but it probably looked more like a walnut, except that it was the length of a tree. But so, since he says it's tight like unto a dish, I'm going to use just like a dish. And uh, snap it on here, leave this side up so you can, you know, see the inside here. And it makes a pretty good boat if it's tight like unto a dish. When you get this thing in the water, you can go in some really deep stuff, and, and it stays dry inside. And so, hey, that's a pretty good way to go a long ways across the ocean. You're certainly not going to get wet. Okay, so let's uh, make a door. And probably a rectangular door, and, and we'll put a doorknob on it, and, and some nice hinges. Okay. Now, inside this barge, there probably were multiple layers. You'd think there'd be uh, a false bottom with rocks underneath for the ballast, and then that false bottom would be where the animals and stuff were, and then come up a layer, and that'd probably be where the people were, and then you could go down there in that lower section to take care of the animals. Probably food and stuff was stored down there. Okay, so here comes the tricky spot. And the Lord said to the brother of Jared, Thou shalt make a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom... And when thou shalt suffer for air, thou shalt unstop the hole and receive air. And if it be that water come in upon thee, behold, ye shall stop the hole, that ye may not perish in the flood. Okay, so the Lord said, uh, put a hole in the top. So uh, I'm going to put a hole in the top. Uh, I don't know if Jared had one of these, but... Okay, Okay, so we have now the smoke generator inside and we don't have airflow going through the barge. We just have bad air inside and it builds up inside. And yes, there's a hole on the top, but that's not going to really cause anything to move around. Okay, much. now when we put the bottom, the hole in the bottom of the ship, we've attached this column to it. So here's our hole going through and, and we have this column here that contained the water. Now, I made this much, much bigger, of course, than it would be properly to scale, just so we can see it easily what's happening. And this keeps the water from coming in the boat, because the water level will be the same inside this column as it is on the outside of the ship. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of a close-up here, so you can see that water column inside there going up and down. stays at the level of the ocean on the outside, and that's what causes the pump. Okay, so now as we move the boat up and down, that water column is going to move up and down within our water column, and it makes a pump. And you can see that the smoke is pushed out, and then fresh air is sucked in through the hole. Pushed out and pulled in through our water pump. Okay, now the Book of Mormon told us that when the seas got too rough, they stoppered up the hole. Now, I don't suppose the stopper looked like this one, but we're going to use this because it should work. Now, the idea is that now, even though we're open on the inside with our water column, we should be able to go underwater because as we go down and the water comes up in the tube, the pressure will build inside this vessel and won't let the water come up over the top of our tube if we're just dry. Let's try that. So here we are, we're going to go clear under in the deep ocean, all the way under, 
multiple times and they're still dry inside. Let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, a little bit of trickle there, a little bit of leak. Okay, now of course every so often uh, there's a buildup of uh, raisins or things down in the bottom of the barge and every so often you have to send your sons down there to clean that out. Well, because of the advantage of this system they don't have to climb a ladder and go out through the top. They can simply muck out right from here in the barge. Oh, nice little system. Works a lot like the Brooklyn Bridge caissons did. You know, you uh, you probably could even uh, fish down through here. That'd be uh, maybe kind of fun too.